What in the world is going on, Still a Nation? Huh? What? You saw the title. I, I didn't even need to intro this video. What? <laughs> in case you don't know what I'm talking about, the Pittsburgh Steelers have traded Kenny Pickett to the Eagles. To the Eagles. Kenny Pickett. Yes, the Steelers' first round draft pick two years ago has now been traded to the Eagles. This is absolutely crazy. First of all, let me say this. I never saw this coming for, for several reasons. I have continued to say, listen, man, Mike Tomlin... They're committed to Kenny Pickett. Listen, man. Omar Khan is committed to Kenny Pickett. Listen, man. Art Rooney II is committed to giving Kenny Pickett a third year to prove himself under a new OC. I have said that repeatedly over and over and over and over and over again. But guess what? It's just like I say to many of you guys each and every week. We never know what's going on in the organization. I have no problem being wrong, in my opinion, on what the Steelers are going to do when the Steelers do the opposite. I told you guys, I am a fan of the team. I am married to the team. I only date the players. I'm in favor for whatever the team thinks is best. I'm going to support the final situation, whether I agree or disagree. But it just goes to show none of us really know what's going on. Who would have called it? Funny thing is, I was joking with Kenyon and Tony just the other day, just yesterday. And I was going to post a screenshot, but I decided not to because Kenyon's full government name is in the text. And I'm not sure if he wants you guys to see all of that. But I just said yesterday... Man, Sam Howe was flying off the board as far as being traded. Whoa, Desmond Ritter flying off the board as far as being traded. I say, hey, is Pickett next? With a laughing emoji. Kenya said, hey, it's possible. We didn't really think that was going to happen. You know why? Because as of right now, the Steelers only have one quarterback. One. One quarterback. And that is Russell Wilson, who has signed for a one-year deal. Boy, this has completely changed the way I'm looking at how the Steelers may approach the draft. Not saying they're going to move up or anything to get uh, a first-round quarterback, but I, quarterback, it could definitely be in play now, ladies and gentlemen, at some point in the draft. They're going to have to go get another free agent. The Steelers generally like to go into the training camp with four quarterbacks. Now, again, it's hard to say what the Steelers generally like to do and follow that mantra because clearly they are living a new day. Clearly, Omar Khan, along with ownership, are moving in different directions in ways that we have never seen. I don't think we have ever seen this happen, at least since I've been a fan where they have moved off of a first-round quarterback after two seasons, traded. Wow. Now, what do they get back? I'm going to pull up the compensation here. The Steelers get pick number 98, and they get two seventh-round draft picks in 2025. The Eagles will get Kenny Pickett, and they'll get draft pick number 120. So there was a swap there in draft picks. Again, the Steelers will acquire this season, this coming draft, I mean, pick number 98 as well as two seventh-round picks. The, pit, the uh, Eagles will receive Kenny Pickett and draft pick number 120. Uh, and Adam Schefter says here it's similar value to what Washington got for Sam Howell. Ain't that crazy? That, that draft class, and I think Sam Howell was in that draft class. Let me double-check. Let me double-check. But you got Desmond Ritter. Let me see. I think Howell was in that class, won't he? Yes. Kenny Pickett, Desmond Ritter, Malik Willis, Matt Coral, Bailey Zappi, Sam Howell, Chris Oladukin, 
Skylar Thompson and Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy is the only one out there performing. I, I, I got to put some respect on Brock Purdy's name. I previously said he was more of a scheme quarterback, and I think for the most part still is, but I got to give him credit for being talented enough to run the scheme and getting all the way this close to a Super Bowl championship. A seventh round pick, Mr. Irrelevant. Now, I know what some of you guys are going to say. Oh, the Steelers. I already see it on Twitter. Oh, the Steelers, they just wasted a first-round pick. And blah, blah, blah. Guys, none of this is rocket science. I'm, I'm here to tell you. Every team in the NFL has missed. And probably every team has missed on a first-round pick. It happens. So I'm just not that type of fan. I can disagree and say, ah, I don't know if I would have done that. But I don't trash the team that I root for. Because to me, that's just ignorant. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. That's it's, it's irrelevant. What's the point? Like, I mean, you can be upset and stuff, but why, why do you be that emotionally connected in a negative way about what your team does, but you still follow them? That, to me, is crazy. So I can disagree with the organization. I've disagreed with Coach Tomlin in certain situations. I've disagreed with other members on the staff, but that's still the team I root for, so I'm not going to drag them through the mud. Because if I really felt that way about everything that they do, I'm no longer going to follow them. Make sense? But again, man, I just had to come here and do this quick video. What a surprise. Kenny Pickett has been traded to the Philadelphia Eagles. So the question really is, was it the scheme? We know Matt Canada wasn't that great. But we saw Mason Rudolph come in there and at least for three games put up points scored touchdowns, did relatively decent in the playoff game, just wasn't enough. But you saw Mason Rudolph able to function in that same offense that was being orchestrated by Sullivan and Faulkner, same playbook as Kenny, as, uh, excuse me, Matt Canada. Kenny Pickett also had a good game in Cincinnati the first week after Matt Canada was fired, but then I guess you're looking at the totality of his work. And the Steelers have decided that was enough for them to move on. But here's the interesting part. Russell Wilson is signed to a one-year deal. The Pittsburgh Steelers have one quarterback under contract. Mason Rudolph signed with the Titans. Makes you wonder. If Mason Rudolph knew that Kenny Pickett was going to be traded, would he have come back to Pittsburgh? Because, you know, you're going to be out there competing with a young Will Levis. Not sure if I would have signed with the Titans. I'm just saying. And then there's Malik Willis. However, he might turn out. But, hey, man, that's all I got for now. I look forward to hearing you guys' comments. I look forward to hearing and seeing you guys on Tuesday for Terrible Town Tuesday. You know I'm going to shameless plug it. Bam. Right there, Terrible Tile Tuesday. I should be back regularly on the miraculous schedule on Tuesday. It should be at 8 p.m., but at the very worst, it could be at 9 p.m., depending on my son's basketball schedule. But I can't wait to Terrible Tile Tuesday so I can hear you guys' comments. Look forward to that. But, man, get active in these comments. Let me know what you think. Because my thoughts are, this is interesting. I got to get on board but I really would like to know what the next move is. Very interesting, folks. All right, that's all I got, man. The only thing I ask you guys to do, three simple things. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications, and I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> this is crazy. Peace.